icon painting. This form of artwork is a beautiful and intriguing aspect of art that I had never considered. But earlier this year, I attended the Greek festival at the St. Sophia's Orthodox Church in uh, Jamesville, Syracuse, New York. And it was beautiful to go into the um, church itself and to see all the beautiful icon paintings on the ceiling and on the walls and along the altar. Absolutely beautiful. And the colors are fascinating. The gold leaf is so beautiful. And then there was a display showing how those icons are painted. And the priest's wife is actually the painter. And she had her tools laid out in the book that shows where she gets the ideas. And she had a demonstration, unfortunately, which I missed. But everything was set up so we could see how icon um, paintings are created these days. So the artwork is fabulous, the images are stylized, the gold is tremendous, and I was so impressed having the chance to actually go into this little church down the road and see the artwork. They call um, the icon painting writing, so that was interesting to me as well. Um, of course, I had gone there for the baklava, but I came out with a little bit of extra knowledge about Greek icon painting. Now, not too long afterwards, I was talking to Mark, my boyfriend, and we talked about this icon museum that he discovered in Clinton, Massachusetts. So we went to visit the Museum of Russian Icons this past weekend. And oh, the museum is filled with these beautiful, again, stylized images, religious-based, yet so intriguing, so detailed, just so amazing. And I, again, fell for these beautiful icons. So there's, very, there's a variety of different images, of course, but um, many of them are for Mother Mary and Jesus and the Apostles. There's a number of saints, as there were in the Greek church, um, a lot of focus on St. Nicholas. And then there were triptychs. Um, many of these paintings, most of these paintings, in fact, are painted on wood, and the triptychs are quite ornate. There were calendars created on these panels and then outlined with silver frames, a tooled silver frame, so great detail in the frames as well. And then there were icons in the center of some of the images, a center of paintings, and then there would be stories painted around the edges of those icons in the middle. Again, this museum showed the tools that were used and they had a fabulous exhibit showing, demonstrating the steps and the different sorts of images that were chosen to be painted. I loved that they had so many different aspects of the process on display. When I was at the Greek church, I found a poem, um, a prayer, that talked about the icons. And then, of course, there's a great more information at the Museum of Russian Icons. Back a great thing to see. 